Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to learn how to open an incognito mode or private mode on uh, Chrome and I'll also include in the link how to open private modes on different um, browsers as well but in this tutorial we're just going to do Chrome. So let's get started. So first I have only I have my current opening Chrome and all my stuff I'm just maximizing the browser right and I'm just going to do driver driver that get and then I'm just gonna go to Google or something so HTTPS google.com all right I'll close this so that's what we already know so let's do the part that we don't know which is the private uh, tab uh, browser part so this is a capability so we'll use the desired capabilities uh, function abilities hope I spelled that right and then I'll call it cape or capability and yeah I spelled that wrong so I'll change that to this and then it's gonna import it right here and then I'm gonna call this Chrome capability Chrome capability you can call it whatever you want wouldn't really matter and equal to desired capability again dot chrome and this could be firefox it could be anything let me try edge yeah it could be edge as well but since we're doing chrome i do this and i spell chrome wrong as you see as usual all right next step we'll write chrome options and i'm gonna call this options equal to new Chrome options again and since I'm lazy I'm gonna just copy it and then close this and I'll import those libraries and then I'll say the options is add arguments arguments and then I'm gonna request uncognito And if you're going to use Firefox, you'll use the same thing, but you will write private. On Oprah, you do the same exact thing, but you just write private, not incognito. And then I'll take this, write it here, dot set capability, right there, as you see. And then I'll write Chrome browser, Chrome options, I'm sorry, dot capability and then I'll write options so here I'm saying I wanna have a desired capability and for Chrome and I'm gonna call it this and then I'm saying I wanna use Chrome options and from those options I want incognito mode and then I'm defining this capability again and then here the last step is putting this over there because if you don't do that it's gonna run Chrome normally so let's do this and let's start here and as you see it opened it in King Needle mode and just for you guys to see oops if I removed this part, it's going to open it in regular, not incognito, as you see right there. So that's it for, for this tutorial. I'm going to share a link with you guys that I found pretty useful. is right there. So in Stack Overflow, this guy explained how to use uh, incognito or private mode in different browsers, and it was actually pretty helpful. So I'll leave this link. Uh, below and uh, you guys can explore it more so let me know if you have any questions and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video enjoy the rest of your day